Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, friends. Professor Rao here, and welcome to Let's Crack the Interviews channel. Today, we're going to talk about uh, IT as an industry, information technology, and you. How IT enables business continuity is the theme of the uh, session today. The business of IT. The great uh, Bill Gates said, IT and business are becoming interwoven. I don't think anybody can talk meaningfully about one without talking about the other. IT enables business and business and uh, IT are encompassing, interwoven and uh, we can't talk about one without referring and without uh, talking about the other aspect. So therefore IT and uh, business are part and parcel of the same uh, spectrum. Business of IT. Global IT industry is around uh, currently around six trillion dollar industry. It's such a huge opportunity and such a such a big industry, right? The various aspects of IT are, you know, software software products, engineering R and D, uh, IT outsourcing, where we have software development companies. Uh, India has a great edge over, you know other countries and uh, we are once we are a back office to the world but today we are at the forefront of information technology revolution. IT outsourcing is still a major source of business for IT companies in India and it also produces tremendous amount of revenues and uh, employment opportunities to the youngsters. Training and development IT enabled services, ITES as a BPO, business process outsourcing, knowledge process outsourcing kind of a sectors, emerging technologies that are coming up in future, existing and coming up like uh, artificial intelligence, internet of things, uh, cloud, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence and uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, things like that, hardware where we're talking about uh, hardware, you know, physical as well as cloud-based hardware as part of infrastructure. And domain verticals in information technology industry are banking, insurance, life sciences, retail, manufacturing, automotive, healthcare, hospitality, etc. So we have banking, so many banks and uh, all uh, Using see 20 25 years ago there was there were manual processes and manual uh, systems in uh, if you go to a bank but today all encompassing IT there IT is influencing and impacting there there is a tremendous application of IT and all these transactions are automated and making the lives of the bankers as well as the customers easy life sciences yes retail manufacturing sector, automotive sector, any automotive, for example, car manufacturing industry, healthcare, pharma, hospitality industry, and uh, insurance sector, called domain verticals, and technology horizontals. Let's see, youngsters, IT, software engineers work in one of these, either domain or technology horizontals, predominantly they work in technology horizontals and in various domain work, domain areas which we have seen earlier. Technology horizontals are ADMS, Application Development and Maintenance Services, SAP, Analytics, Business Analytics, you know, testing, software testing, manual or automated testing, business process outsourcing, infrastructure, these are the technology horizontals in which the youngsters get huge opportunities uh, in information technology industry. Support functions are quality, finance, marketing, admin, staffing or HR. Human resource function which is responsible for uh, recruitment, selection, training and employee engagement and uh, the department that takes care of exit formalities is called HR. Human resource development, HRD or HR department, human resource development department and uh, learning and development has been given tremendous focus nowadays therefore that's why it's meant specified separately which is part and parcel of HR. Learning and development, learning and development is uh, the training, 
training with and upskilling, reskilling, cross skilling, and providing training opportunities so that the learning provides a longevity of careers of the youngsters. Your career is your responsibility. Please remember, friends, your career is your responsibility. We need to own it, we need to take the responsibility, I need to skill yourself adequately and have a judicious amalgamation of uh, hard skills and soft skills and build your career responsibly yourself. What is required for that? You need to keep on learning. Learn, unlearn, relearn and learn, adapt, keep learning. Learning cannot stop. IT is global and dynamic in nature and where which warrants continuous lifelong learning. IT and expectations. IT is in our hands. Information technology in our hands, isn't it? See, mobile phone. See, have you imagined about five, ten, six years ago the kind of applications at the mobile phones? Isn't it? IT is in our hands. 4G, 5G revolution, Wi Fi have changed the way we think, do, and communicate. Isn't it? Can you imagine life without Wi Fi or broadband, Wi Fi internet connectivity? No, right? So, Wi Fi has become part and parcel of our lives. Swiggy builds a platform to order from various restaurants and helps the food business to grow is one of the examples. Similarly, so Ola and Uber have a, have a software platform and uh, without owning a single cab, they are the largest uh, uh, travel industry, travel companies in the world. Swiggy is a simple example where with the help of a platform, you can order from various restaurants and uh, as a platform it helps the business food business to grow proportionately. Industry experts a Jewish amalgamation of technical technology skills and human or people skills. Technology skills are called hard skills and, and uh, human or people skills are called soft skills. So you need to have both hard skills as well as soft skills. A typical career path of an IT engineer in uh, a zero from the entry level to up to 18 years of uh, industry IT company. A, a great multinational IT company goes like this. First, you start your career as a trainee, then become a developer, developer, coder, developer, coder, tester, uh, you know, programmer, all that similar roles, same role, right? So, trainee, developer, technical lead, project manager, and delivery manager, or program manager, and delivery manager, group head, head of a business unit, it's called group head. Then you can become a director or you can scale up to CEO. Sky is the limit and if you contribute a lot to the organization, bring value to the table and uh, have great degree of uh, um, technology skills and people skills. You can grow in technology stream or management stream, there is a choice. So we are talking about digital everywhere, right? Digital is like a gravity, which is all encompassing and it's there everywhere. Digital is everywhere in our lives all pervasive and all inclusive, right? The new roles in the industry leading digital transformations, digital transformations of the businesses of uh, their end customer are in the coming say 10 years are chief digital officer, digital transformation lead and uh, AV or VR engineer, data scientist, IoT integration specialist, robotic automation developer, data scientist, data detective, and chief trust officer, AI business development manager, and so on. See, have you heard about these designations, these roles in about three, four years ago? No. So these are the new roles in the IT industry that are helping leading the digital transformation of the businesses in the coming about 10 years or so. AI is an opportunity, not a threat. Look at artificial intelligence. Many extras feel that uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, going to automate routine process and which will uh, result into uh, you know, lack of jobs or lack of less opportunities and uh, uh, resulting into uh, you know uh, foregoing of jobs. No, AI will replace humans who don't want to change. Artificial intelligence, yes, routine process will be replaced to be automated in order to make faster, better, cheaper, larger, steady, and consistent productivity and progress. And that's what every business, every customer wants, right? And if you, AI yeah, will definitely replace the humans who don't want to change. If you're willing to change, if you're willing to learn, nothing to worry. Those who are willing to learn will always have a job. And if you want to be relevant, you have to keep learning. I told you that we all need to aim to be continuous lifelong learner. Learning has three dimensions. Learn, unlearn, relearn. Keep learning, 
unlearn uchori's old outdated absolute body of knowledge and relearn uchori's latest and current and contemporary and emerging uh, uh, skills we need to keep up our uh, relearning them right so learn in two ways with learn with the passion learn with the necessity your passion and if your necessity from the perspective of customer from the perspective of organization this particular technology is necessary you need to learn but your passion could be in some other technology if both match and your passion and necessity match and uh, you know are the same you'll have a great you enjoy and you'll have a great uh, job satisfaction job enrichment you grow you grow very fast but however we need to possess both and we need to be adaptable to both ways of learning with passion as well as necessity please remember being learning mode to grow faster you always will be we all have to be learning mode your career has to be like a t with the both horizontal and vertical line you need to have it the vertical line talks about depth in one area of technology skill and breadth is it is the that you need to have a knowledge skills knowledge across the various areas of the spectrum across the spectrum of areas in the mantra for growth technical ability youngsters need to focus on there are about six aspects we need to clearly discuss about mantra for growth number one technical ability and we need to possess analytical thinking continual learning acquire certifications that is uh, learning new technologies and uh, complete certifications and that will be really great value addition and focus on diverse technologies emerging technologies this is the technical ability that's very important number two communication is very very important this is a softer skill softer aspect and which is a soft skill very important skill and you need to focus on enhancing improving uh, your uh, written and verbal communication skills very important written communication verbal communication skills and you need to learn the ability to express yourself clearly to the people you should be able to articulate clearly doesn't matter no matter how great or uh, technically savvy or you know, knowledgeable if you don't have the ability to express yourself uh, it doesn't serve the purpose and doesn't take us anywhere doesn't contribute to our career progress isn't it so teamwork is very important you need to take world class love by team player what is team team stands for together everyone achieves more t e a m means together everyone achieves more so we need to work as a team grow as a team succeed as a team we need to none of us is as strong as all of us you know about to team work very well and we need to collaborate and we should not and don't compete we should have an aptitude attitude of collaboration not the uh, competition so collaborate don't compete and develop the perspective attitude I mean, use the language of we not i so we is the language of teamwork right eagerness to assist your colleagues and uh, support them train them support them mentor them help your colleagues and third one attitude fourth one attitude attitude is all about uh, uh, developing inquisitiveness curiosity child like inquisitiveness and asking questions being curious is very important and you need to the in work with a great degree of discipline and uh, is very important timeliness and discipline very very important discipline towards uh, schedules discipline towards uh, office time discipline towards uh, ethics and integrity discipline towards deliverable discipline towards learning enthusiasm to take on new work you should not shun and uh, shy away from the uh, new work or you know, should come forward leadership owning your deliverable is very important you should take that ownership you should work with the you know employer mindset not employee mindset and should take ownership responsibility accountability own your deliverables you need to deliver something say end of the day by 5 pm and we need to we need to stick to it and deliver it own your deliverables and understand the purpose of uh, the project the purpose of uh, the work we are doing your uh, your your assignment and then do it and fearless communication as a leader you need to have a fearless you should be a good communicator and you should practice fearless communication productivity plan your work deliver on time attention to detail and first time right so have a tremendous degree of planning and be on time in the project delivery attention to detail eye for details and first time right to the right do first thing first and first time right without you know committing any 
mistakes and errors very important that's part of your work too that automatic answer is your work thank you friends and uh, please keep these pointers in mind and i hope it's useful to you to build a meaningful career uh, on in the industry it industry which is a enabler of business growth thank you